Here we go. Nice and easy, slow and gentle. Oh. Hey folks, this is Josh, Stony Ridge Farmer. Welcome back to the farm. Today we have the mother load of parts coming in for the Willys Jeep. It's going to be super awesome. We have a whole new tub, we've got a big pile of parts, and we're going to unload those off the truck, and we're going to take a quick look at the Jeep and how rusty and crusty it is and start disassembling this Jeep so that we can clean the frame up and put a new body on it. It's going to be super fun, so come along on the farm vlog today. We're going to have a little bit of fun and check out a bunch of new cool parts for the Jeep. All right? Woo! So coming up my driveway with a tractor trailer is a bit of a pain in the butt for some tractor trailer drivers. I'm gonna meet the driver down here and show him the best way to get up through here. The last guy almost got stuck and basically they just need to know where to swing wide, where to swing their truck wide. It's a UPS freight driver that's coming right now. How's it going man? So you got plenty of room to turn around up top. The best thing to do, the only tricky part about this is getting right around that turn. Yeah. You swing your right tire off as far as you can to the right, you'll be fine going right around there. No problem. And uh, once you get up top, take the high yeah. side and turn down the hill. The biggest thing you gotta do is carry some speed right here. Yeah. It's not steep anywhere but right here. Okay. And then when you get up top, swing it wide. Yeah. If you drag your trailer in the grass a little bit up there, it ain't gonna hurt nothing but just swing it wide. There's plenty of room. When you get up there, you'll see. I tried to make plenty of room. So the big problem with these single axle trailers is that they've got to get a little bit of speed going up through here in order to make this turn so they don't start spinning because they don't do worth a crap on loose ground or wet ground. He's doing all right. I hope he's doing all right. Yeah, he's got it. So we'll get up some speed here and get him up through here where he's supposed to be. Always an adventure here on the farm. Good stuff. We'll kind of wait right here at the shop so he knows exactly where to go and how to turn around. We'll have to go up and get the tractor. They were supposed to give me a good 45 minutes heads up, but I only got about a 15 or 20 minute heads up. A lot of folks fussed about how much gravel and rock I was putting down on this driveway and how big I was making it. Well, I got to plan ahead. You can't be an idiot. Got to plan ahead for this kind of stuff right here. Guys, it couldn't be a prettier day out here. It's nice. It's really, really wet. Had so, so much wet weather this year. Been nasty. All right, get up here to the tractor shed. This is the goat pen right here, and we got rid of all of our goats in order to make room for some meat goats. So that's why the old bales of hay are still sitting out there. This is our John Deere 5065, and this is our Massey Ferguson 240 right here. We'll be working with the Massey pretty soon. We've got a wood chipper sitting out front. We're gonna hook to it. Let's go ahead and fire up the tractor with the pallet forks on it. Cold start, wet butt. <laughs> Here we go. Guys, if this is your first time to the channel, welcome to the farm channel. This is our farm. We're on a 200 acre farm here in the foothills of North Carolina. Good stuff, beautiful place. Well, here it is guys. I have got to reorganize the shop because I don't have <laughs> any room for this thing. In order to get this in and get the gator in, which we've got to keep the gator out of the rain, I'm going to have to do a lot of reorganization. The guy, the UPS guy, was a cool dude. He came in and looked at all the cars and stuff and had a good time. Good stuff. Well, let me show you just how this thing comes in a crate. So if you order a Jeep body from Kaiser Willys, this is how it comes. It's all wrapped up. It's pre-primed, ready to go, ready to paint. Just sand it and paint it. What we've got to do and what I wanted to do is look at what's included in this body kit so that I know exactly what I need to take off the Jeep and how I need to take it off. So I can look at all the parts that I have here and understand how it comes apart a little bit better. That's why we haven't taken the body off the Jeep just yet. So without further ado, let's have some fun getting the shop ready. <laughs> All right, guys, we are three days later and I have got the shop pretty much cleaned out as best as it's gonna be. So let's open the shop door and check it out. Oh, thank you, little shop clean out. 
<laughs> nice. So we got the Jeep all settled here in the center of the floor. Over here is the carton that the Jeep parts came in and I moved some shelves from the back wall right here. I'm going to roll the carton that contains the Jeep parts out and I'm just going to show you a few things. We're going to disassemble that carton really quickly and I'm going to take you around the Jeep right now and show you what we have to do. Evidently there are six bolts that hold the tub in place and we have to remove those. We have to remove the fuel lines, we have to remove the fuel tank, and we have to remove the seats and the steering column because the steering column is not going to go up through there. So let's show you a few of the problems that are going to be posed here with getting the body off this rusty old Jeep. So you guys may or may not have had a good walk around on this Jeep, but you can see right here we've got rust through in a lot of places. It's still nice and sturdy, but it's just rusted through. The floorboards are completely gone and this is a replacement floorboard that was put in it. This is actually a replacement fuel tank that was put in it when my dad first got it and it's slap full of rust. Here's the old fuel tank and you can see just how full of rust and crust that thing is. So we've got to get these out so we've got to unbolt our seats, remove our seats, take our steering column loose down here and we'll show you all this in a future video we've got to pull the steering wheel or cut it off we've got a new steering column and a new shaft that we ordered and as we come around to the front of the Jeep you can see that the fenders that are bolted on are actually welded in some places so this thing has been through a tough life in other words it's been flopping fenders have been flopping you can see the nasty weld job that was right there it has totally been through a really tough life you can see over here on this side there's a pan underneath this seat you can see straight through under the ground and also a lot of old bondo and body work and stuff that's been done to this jeep so it is garbage now a lot of people have told me save all those parts save everything you pull off that jeep because it's only original once well i'm gonna save what's good and i'm gonna throw away what's bad or take it to the recycle place so as we disassemble this jeep probably in the next video we'll go ahead and get the body off the frame i'll show you the full disassembly removing the body off the frame and we'll take a close look at the frame but as we're disassembling this Jeep, we're going to have a good parts bin and a garbage can. And basically, I'll bring the tractor with the forks and we'll lift the body off. If I can't get some of my neighbors down here, we'll lift the body off of it. We'll clean the frame up and we'll start putting stuff back together. So poor little Mrs. Stony Ridge, there's no way she could have helped me with this crate and moving it around the garage or anything like that. So I set it on some rollers so it'd be easy to move around the shop and easy to open up and unbox. It's on a metal frame and we've basically got to disassemble the metal frame and we'll pull out all the individual parts. I cannot pick up that Jeep body by myself and I don't have anybody here to help me. So basically we're going to snip some bands and show you what's in the box. Let's start cutting bands. Woohoo! I'm excited about this. Uh, I don't want to lose any eyes either. There we go. Garbage pile. Start the garbage pile. There we go. Nice. These are all nice self tapping screws. I'm going to hang on to them. Come on, baby. Trash pop. <laughs> nice. There's some stuff in here <laughs> held in with ropes and all kinds of stuff. Check it out. So here's what you get in the box. Here is the tub. Here is the windshield frame. It's all roped in there and tied in there. We're going to start cutting some stuff off. And I believe this is the grill. And these are the two front fenders. Not a whole lot of complexity to a Jeep body. Well guys, basically all we have left to do is get the Jeep out of the box. And I'm gonna need some help to get that Jeep out of the box. I think it's somewhere in the neighborhood of 450 pounds or so. Not too heavy, pretty cool. You're gonna watch me struggle with it probably because I'm pretty impatient. I kinda wanna get it out and take a look at it. It's got a few little scuffs and stuff on it, but that's pretty much to be expected. It's been shipped all the way from the Philippines. And I believe the Philippines 
correct me if I'm wrong, there's a business in the Philippines that has the rights to all the Willy stuff. So that's why they're making the Mahindra Roxor or something like that. It's all about licensing. So this is an official licensed Willy's Jeep body from Kaiser Willy's Jeep. Awesome. Thanks a lot, guys. We'll see you next time on the Stony Ridge Farm where we'll be taking the Jeep apart. We're going to get the grinders out. We're going to get the sawzall out. We're going to bust these bolts loose, take this thing apart, clean up the frame, and have some fun. This isn't one of those hot rod shows where everything happens like that. This is real life, and we'll get to see all the intricate details of what's going on with this Jeep. Cool. See you next time on the Stony Ridge. Woo! <laughs> Oh, it's not that bad. This isn't smart. <laughs> well, we got it out of the box anyway. <laughs> uh, freezer took a hit. Here we go. Nice and easy, slow and gentle. Oh, yeah. There we go. That Jeep isn't that heavy. At least now we got the Jeep body where I can move it around the shop anyway. I don't know whether I should undercoat this before I install the body or whether I should just paint the entire thing on a rotisserie and let it match the body. You guys tell me.